I took a raw chicken head, stuck it on top of a hive of yellow jackets. Now the question is, will they turn it into a nice clean skull? Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Hunter. Uh, today we have a chicken head and we are going to test the hypothesis that a subterranean up here right near that rock yellow jacket nest will clean the all the tissue off the skull. Now I'm asking that question because recently I've noticed them flying around some other skulls I had, some bigger skulls, and they were munching on the tissue. So I figured if I gave them something a little more manageable, maybe they would be able to clean it. So I've done this before with ants and some other cleaning methods. So I figured I'd give this a try. And I'm filming with my camera here. So it might get a little bit hectic, but I'm gonna put it directly over the hole and we'll see what happens. Straight away, they kind of got mad because I actually completely covered their hole. So at this point, I think they're just in attack mode. Now, yellow jackets get more active and more aggressive towards the fall because this is a time where they are feeding their larva and they are looking for protein and sugar-based foods, hence why I thought this might work. You can see a few small black ants start showing up, and then they probably went and told their friends, hey y'all, I found this gigantic velociraptor skull. So then they all kind of start swarming the skull there. So at this point, I don't really know exactly what's gonna happen. Okay, so I just pulled my phone off of the hole um, didn't look like they're doing much yet, so I'm going to give them some time. Uh, we'll check back in maybe this evening or tomorrow morning and see what kind of progress they've made. There's a vulture flying up ahead. Alright, i got to keep an eye on him. He might, he might try to steal the skull. <laughs> Anywho, this video is sponsored by my book on how to carve skulls. I cover all the basics, including different tools you'll need, how to prepare the skulls for carving, different burrs, and then different finishes that you can put on these skulls. I will leave a link in the description of this video for you to check that out. Now, let's take a look at this skull and uh, see if they've made any progress. So the next morning, you can see they opened up their entrance way to their hole and pretty much immediately the ants come back. Uh, this time it is like little yellow ants and they kick out some of the black ones that were there already and they just swarm the skull. Now, interestingly enough, the yellow jackets are actually picking and eating the ants. Uh, so they're not really cleaning the skull, but they're just cleaning the ants that are trying to clean the skull. Okay, so I think really the only thing we can do is compare this skull to a clean skull and see where we're at. Well, I think it's pretty definitive. Now we have to ask the age-old question, Hornets, will it clean? No! Well, I hope you had as much fun watching this video as I did making it. A uh, special shout out to everyone in Australia. I see the analytics. I see y'all watching. So thanks for watching me all the way across the pond. And uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. The